Alhamdulillah, my brothers from Mercy Mission. Uh, this is a brother of ours who's passed away. And when one of ours passes away, when one of ours passes away, it's like a piece of our body has fallen off. Uh, it's like my finger's gone, my hand is gone, a part of my body has been taken away, I will never ever see it ever again until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala joins us all together. Our brother, Allah have mercy upon him, is going to be getting his most severe test that he has ever had since he's been created in just a few minutes. As people walk away and the angels come down with his soul and the two angels question him in the grave, make lots of dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives him thabat. And make lots of dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserves him and, and straight away makes his grave from the graves of Jannah and opens the window up. Ya ikhwati, when I was leading the salah over him, the reason I kept on increasing and, and, and uh, increasing, prolonging the last bit of the salah is because as I was saying it, as, as, as I was making dua for him, I noticed his, his mouth opening up and I noticed the side of his chin's uh, bend and I noticed a little bit of a smile. So I hope Allah yeah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that's why when I saw him, I said, Allah, make him smile in the akhirah like you made him smile in the dunya. And he swore by Allah that he loves me. He said, Wallahi, tillat, Allahi, Wallahi, Billahi, I love you for the sake of Allah. So by Allah, we love him for the sake of Allah. So keep your du'as up for our brother. And keep your, <coughs> keep your du'as up for the brother and keep your ikhlas up for, for looking after his family. Ikhwati, this is a lesson for us because our brother is just going to find out whether he was with hypocrites, whether he led and he was part of a, of a team which is full of hypocrites that did this work for, for self-praise and for ambition and for money or did he do it for the sake of Allah? He's just about to find that out now. Ya ikhwati, if we are a band of hypocrites and we're doing this for the sake of Allah, then, then, for, then ask Allah for forgiveness now. We didn't do this work so we could be hypocritical. We did this work so we could do it for the sake of Allah. Ya ikhwati, the greatest tragedy is if he was told now that he's a muflis, that he would be not have, not have any deeds with him. But the greatest reward would be if he was told, Alhamdulillah, he had a band of brothers that he did the, the work for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for him is a greater reward in the akhirah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep our hearts together and keep, keep your brotherhood strong. And remember, Wallahi, Wallahi, we have us each other whilst we are alive in this dunya. And if we preserve this in this dunya, Allah will keep us brothers in the akhirah. My friends, it's only a short amount of time we have here. Keep working very hard, very hard for the cause of the vision of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because that's the only excuse we have. When Allah asks you on the day of judgment, you're guilty for this, you're this, you're this, you're this, 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 you have done. The only answer we have is guilty, Ya Rabb. Guilty as said. But the only thing we tried to do is we tried to pursue our Rasulullah sallallahu dream in this dunya and for that have mercy on us and we have this ukhuwa and brotherhood that's the only thing that we know that keeps us strong may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look after you and your families and keep you all strong and give you what your hearts desire may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answer your du'as and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala join our hearts with our brother and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ya Rab, ya Rab show us in our dreams that you've accepted our brother into Jannah Amen. Allah show us that you have forgiven him Allah let him smile Amen. let us meet him again in our dreams before we meet him in the akhirah ya Rabbi ya Rabbi ya Rabbi ya Allah taqabbal minna ya Allah why are we crying like like our children has died why are we crying like our children has died you know why because this is stronger this is stronger than the than the ties of blood this uhu and this brotherhood, nothing breaks us up. This is stronger than the ties of blood. That's why we're crying for a man who was not our brother from the same mother. But this is stronger than that. This is stronger than that.
keep your brotherhood and your, and your sisterhood up amongst yourselves and continue on, on working relentlessly for this cause. Our brother said, cancel the rest of the talks today in the tour that we're doing. I say, we carry on. We go back from this, we make dua for our brother and we carry on. And we continue on pushing this agenda that we're here for to help our ummah reach Jannah, inshaAllah ta'ala. Ikhwati, don't lose faith, don't lose heart. Our brother is going to a better place, inshaAllah. It is us that we should be worried about whether we will reach his level or not. Whether we will reach his level and we will, whether we will be able to be with him in Jannah or not. So let us worry about ourselves and worry about the next deed that you have to do. That the next deed may be your last deed. And very soon we might also be praying over you and you might be praying over us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us all. قل يا عبادي الذين أسرفوا على أنفسهم لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله إن الله يغفر الذنوب جميعا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم وأنيبوا إلى ربكم وأسلموا له من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب ثم لا تنصرون واتبعوا أحسن ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب من قبل أن يأتيكم العذاب بغتة وأنتم لا تشعرون أن تقول نفس يا حسرة على ما فرطت في جنب الله وإن كنت لمن الساخرين أو تقول لو أن الله هداني لكنت من المتقين أو تقول حين ترى العذاب لو أن لي كرة فأكون من المحسنين بلى قد جاءتك آياتي فكذبت بها واستكبرت وكنت من الكافرين ويوم القيامة ترى الذين كذبوا على الله وجوههم مسودة أليس في جهنم مثوى للمتكبرين وينجي الله الذين اتقوا بمفازتهم لا يمسهم السوء لا يمسهم السوء ولا هم يحزنون 